Welcome to Aroma of Zanzibar's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to share with you how I make my gorgeous, irresistible, soft pretzels. And I started by preparing the yeast. I have used one cup of a mixture between milk and water. You can use either one. Please make sure it's lukewarm. And two and a quarter teaspoons of instant yeast. That's about seven grams of one packet and one tablespoon of granulated sugar. Just going to mix it well and let it sit for about five to ten minutes. Once that's ready, I have used only half a teaspoon of kosher salt and three tablespoons of butter. You can substitute the butter with olive oil and you can add more salt if you're going to make only uh, savory pretzels. I used very less because I wanted to make a sweet and savory, so I didn't want my sweet pretzels to have a lot of salt. All right. Now I've also sifted about three and a half cups of all-purpose flour. But I used only three and a quarter. You may need to use all of it or less. So we're just going to mix. I started with two cups. You can use any amount. There's no specific measurement. Then add more. Now the pretzel dough is like the bread dough. So it needs to be nice and firm but soft inside. So the dough is not going to be sticky. All right. So at this point, I like to move to my flat surface and usually for pretzels I prefer to knead them with my hand instead of using a stand mixer because that way I can feel the dough to make sure that it's not sticky like here I just add more flour we're going to need this for about 8 to 10 minutes because we really really need the gluten for the pretzels because you want them to be nice and chewy but soft inside at the same time all right so I'm just going to knead it and um, once it's ready, like this, as you can see, my hands are nice and clean and not sticky at all. Then I'm just going to put it in a bowl and let it rise. Now for pretzels, I like to give them a sl slow rise, which is at least two hours or four hours. So I'm going to keep this in a cool area. If you can keep them overnight, that's much better. So that way you can get the real flavor of pretzels. And once the dough is ready, I'm going to start by boiling the water. That's six cups of water. And if you are using beer, you can use beer or you can mix it with beer to get the maximum flavor. So for this recipe, you can easily get up to 10 pretzels, uh, medium size or small ones. But uh, I wanted to make breakfast pretzels, so I just uh, divided my dough into six portions. And we are going to fold the pretzels. This is very easy and it's... Uh, a good project to do with children. So I'm just going to roll this into a long uh, snake, as we would call it, uh, 18, 20, 24 inches, however you like it, but you don't have to go ahead and measure. Going to keep it on a U-shape like that, and then twist one time, second time, and then take the ends and stick them over there, and that's it. It's very simple. Now in the hot water, I added a quarter cup of baking soda, that's bicarbonate of soda, and you want to let it boil for a minute and then reduce the heat, let it simmer. So now we are ready to poach the pretzels. Now the reason why we poach the pretzels in baking soda and hot water is to get the beautiful gelatinized look, the glossy and shiny look, and also to get them chewy. Now I like to poach them just for 30 seconds because if you do more, then you're going to end up having uh, pretzels that have uh, baking soda flavor. And you can use any type of pot. You don't have to use a pan like this. All right. So once they're done, we're going to egg wash these. And I'm using one egg yolk with one tablespoon of water. And um, please make sure that your oven is ready at 400 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 200 Celsius. And these will bake for about 15 to 18 minutes. Now you can add any topping to the pretzels, you can do sesame seeds, chia seeds, cheese, but the traditional look of salt is something not to be missed. And I have done mine with uh, salt, which is usually sea salt or kosher salt. Three and the three will be plain. So as you can see, my pretzels are nice and beautiful. And while they're still hot, I'm just gonna apply some melted butter. This is not necessary, but if you're gonna coat them with sugar, 
then it's better because then the sugar will coat very well. So this is cinnamon sugar. And um, you can serve this for tea, snack, breakfast, however you like it. And as usual, you'll find all the ingredients and measurements in the description box below and also on the very last page. Now let's check out our pretzels and they're nice to be served while they're still warm. You can see they're nice and soft on the inside and a little bit hard on the outside and they're also very chewy. So thank you so much for being with me and I look forward to seeing you all again in the near future.